What's going on YouTube? This is your boy The Vintage Man. We are back with another review and on feet. Your boy been going crazy with the own feet and we gotta keep it going, man, with the latest drop of the Air Jordan 5 Raging Bulls. I picked these things up. Your boy had to pay resale, but it is what it is. Like I told you guys on the live streams, on videos, you're gonna buy the shoe or it's on to the next one. And that's kind of how I've been looking at sneakers this past couple of years, man. It's kind of hard to get shoes. So it's either you're gonna, you know, think about it too much, get mad, like, oh, I can't get a W on a sneakers app, can't get a W on the flex apps, or you're gonna pay that resale or go to the next sneaker, you feel me? So today, like I said, we have a review and on feet over the Raging Bull, AKA Toro Bravos, whatever you wanna call it, uh, the fives. Very uh, much anticipated sneaker. Everybody was super excited to have this one back out. And uh, we got a couple of comparisons to do. We're gonna do a little debate. And like I said, we're gonna do the own feet for these Raging Bulls. If you guys are new to the channel right now, what I need you to do, man, is smack that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any other content that your boy drops. And make sure you guys follow it up with a huge like on today's video. And please, man, head over to IG, give away a follow with the Vintage World. I posted a picture yesterday doing a little debate over the Air Jordan 5 Raging Bulls and the Air Jordan 5 Fire Reds. And you'll be super surprised at some of the comments and what people are siding with between the Fire Fives and the Raging Bulls. All right, before we jump into the shoe, man, real quick, I want to reintroduce, bring that little thought back in your mind about you waiting off and not copying your sole premise bag. I'm trying to tell you guys, man, we're traveling with your sneakers, you copping sneakers, going to different events, or if you, you know what I'm saying, you want to throw some clothes in here, a couple different sneakers, this is the perfect bag for you. You can throw in about a couple sneakers in the uh, book bag right here, the Soul Premise book bag. Like I said, you can put your laptop, iPads, change your clothes, whatever you need, board and passes, all in one super dope, good quality, long lasting Soul Premise bags right here. I will link my code down below, man. It's the vintage, and it saves you 35% off your entire order, man. Head over to Soul Premise right now and cop you your Soul Premise bags. All right, guys, so back to these beauties right here. I know you guys know last year, or yeah, Last year we got the top three or the what the, matter of fact, we got the what the Air Jordan 5s. And these things right here was something that we was like, yo, we gotta be getting a Raging Bull soon. I know what's gonna happen. We was talking about it on live streams and even the review on our feed for these joints right here. He was like, yo, forget the what the's, they want the Raging Bulls. And then next thing you know, later on down to 2020, they said that the Raging Bull Tower Bible 5s were confirmed for this year in 2021. Like I said, I was super excited when I got these things. I know I had to pay resale, but I knew it was something that I had to add to collection, especially after getting a teaser like these right here, man. So super dope vibes. This gave us that hype for the Raging Bulls. And as you can see, man, it's the same suede, the same red, and all that good stuff. But of course, on the What The Fives, you get this little symbol right here. I think that's from the Tokyos or Shanghai's. And we have a, like a neon or a nice lime green outsole on these, man. So this is super dope. I really love this shoe right here. It was a good pickup. It's a good addition to the collection. But like I said, man, they just built that hype up for people to want the Raging Bulls even more. And as you guys know, <laughs> these things are going for $300 already. I bring it up in a video yesterday. I was like, yo, I couldn't believe it. I cannot believe that these things are going for 380, 400, 420. People just think that these right here are going to continue to go up, man. I don't think these were released since 2009 or 2010, one or two. But you know what I'm saying? All those years, people have been always wanting to add it to the collection. And they finally brought it back out, not in the pack with the black pair. And you guys seen the madness and the chaos going on for the release of these Raging Bull Air Jordan 5. So real quick overview, man. You see the majority, the predominantly red upper and that nice suede material. Uh, not a lot of, you know, factory flaws, quality control issues that we used to see on Air Jordan 5s, I would say. And especially with the Fire Red 5s, like I said, we did a debate over those. And before we get too far with this video, I need everybody to let me know down below in the comment section are you rocking out with the air jordan 5 toe bravos or the fire red fives more man like i said if you go over to instagram you'd be surprised what people are saying uh some people sound with the fire reds and of course you have some people siding with the raging bulls i want you guys opinion down below in the comment section right now man you get your 3m tongue on these raging bulls right here of course take a picture put the flash on it this one's gonna have that 3m reflective busting and on the back we did not get nike air we got the jump man on the back, man. That's pretty much like a deal breaker for a lot of people. If it doesn't have Nike Air like we had with the Fire Red Files, like, oh, we don't want it. There's no Nike Air on the back. I want that OG. I want the stuff that Jordan wear and stuff like that. It is what it is, but people really love this shoe as well. And like I keep telling y'all all the time, it doesn't matter for me if it has a jump man, if it has a Nike Air on the back. 
I'm gonna cop it if it's a dope looking sneaker. And the Raging Bulls, of course, are one of my most anticipated releases of 2021. Checking out the outsole right there, man. You have your translucent blue and you have your red Jumpman up top with the Jordan plate in the middle of these fives. Leading up to the midsole real quick, something I did not point out was the shark teeth on the side. You guys see it uh, with your white and red hits on that. And everything else around these Raging Bulls is black on the midsole, man. You have that 2-3 on the side of the Raging Bulls, something that people really want for the Fire Reds. There was some comments talking about that on uh, Instagram. Uh, something I cannot wait for them to bring back, maybe the Black Tongue Fire Red Fives with the 2-3 on the side. It would be a super dope addition to the collection, man. But with the Raging Bulls, I really think they killed it. They had that anticipation built up from the What The Fives right here, as you guys can see. And man, it just kept going. And now you see on the release day, people was going crazy. You got your translucent Cajun on the outer and on the inner of these beauties right here. And just looking at it on the camera and just looking at these joints, that red is just busting. It's not dry, it's not flat. It's a very vibrant red. And I really feel like Jordan Brand killed it with this drop, man. Usually when Jordan Brand bring back like those OG colorways and you know, singers that released a long time ago, they always tend to change something up. But with this one right here, uh, I seen the comparison video and I seen that these joints really was matching the OG look of the Raging Bulls. So yeah guys, here you have it. Air Jordan 5 Raging Bull Toro Bravos. Let me know down below in the comment section if this was something that you really, really want to add to the collection. Was this one of your most anticipated releases of this year? And make sure you guys comment down below if you're rocking with the Raging Bull 5s or the Fire Red Fives more, man. Comment that down below so we can get that discussion going. I appreciate everybody for tuning in to today's video. If you have not already subscribed, man, make sure you subscribe. Don't miss out on any other content that we drop. And also hit the notification bell and smack the like button. That really helps the channel grow. It shows YouTube. You guys are rocking out with the channel and I really do appreciate it, man. I hope you guys enjoyed some of the B-roll. I hope you guys enjoyed the own foot. I'm gonna put a little bit of Porsche at the end as well. Just because I'm super excited to rock this sneaker and it's probably be a while before I actually break these things out of the collection. I don't know when I'm gonna rock them officially, you know what I'm saying, with a fit or whatever. Probably sometime next year, I ain't gonna cap, man. Again, thank you so much for pulling up and watching today's video. I love you guys, and I'm gonna catch you in the next one, man. Peace.